is going on guys we are at a new park today at least a new park for me this is my like fifth seater fair park dorney park as you saw from the title we're gonna be riding iron menace i got justin here what's up he uh he drove the way driving like a maniac <laughs> <laughs> this man i'm driving back because this dude was driving wild y'all but uh before. iron menace I'm very excited to ride this dive because this will be my third dive. So we'll see where it ranks between Valraven and uh, Griffin. And then they don't have too many coasters here, but we're going to see how it is. Oh yeah, I might eat there, I don't know yet. open like it's just a lot of space all right so we're gonna do iron menace first um area looks really good it's a lot it's very open like it's just a lot of space but i'm excited to ride it it looks really good it sounds smooth but i have heard it, there's a couple of jolts on it so we're gonna see Just got off uh, Iron Menace. What'd you think of it, Justin? That's a great ride. Yeah. Favorite dive coaster. Yeah. Um, that went up pretty fast. First of all, the chain lift is quick. I don't like how tight the restraints are. The vest feels really tight. Like it feels tighter to me than like Gatekeeper and uh, Val Raven. But the layout of it is so nice. Having it no curve, no going around, all this extra stuff. Dive coasters don't need all that. Like they, it's a lot of extra stuff just because they're trying to fill up space. But having everything be compact really cool it, you do feel that jolt at the end for sure it was very weird why that has a jolt and it's brand new i don't know but hopefully they fix it in the off season but we're gonna do back row now front and back done that was 115 for me definitely was jolty at the end towards the end it definitely gets jolty but i must say it is probably my favorite dive now so i really like that more compact layout i need to ride emperor at a six what is it sea world san diego yeah i need to do that yeah that one's the one i hear really good things about because it's another smaller dive i think more parks need to get more of these ones though uh i don't know what they have to do to get that jolt out of there but i don't know other than that though great ride 
really great intense. cozy yeah really like honestly the back seat was very intense the air time you get from the drop is great solid closer for the park we are on to thunderhawk so yeah Okay, Thunderhawk. That was interesting. Actually, really, really good. Like, it's like deceiving because the seat is so tiny, way too tight. Like, strengths, the new PTC trains are like, there's a lot more clicks, and I accidentally just went all the way down, but it cut, it came down all the way regardless. What'd you think of it? It's a good ride. It's yeah. a front row ride. There's a couple of pops of ejector in the front. Yeah. yeah it's a Cool little ride, mm -hmm. just the trim at the end kind of sucks. But. Yeah, there was that trim. Yeah, overall, it's weird though because it's like it's not tall, it looks like a kitty ride, and then all of a sudden it's just like, let's go! So, we're gonna try to get something to eat because we're starving. We didn't really eat anything. I had a smoothie, a cup of a smoothie. Uh, they have some decent places to eat around here, so we'll check out that and then I'll uh, talk to y'all a little bit. I'll let you go ahead just because I want to. See what the food options are. Uh. All right, so y'all, we got pierogies. Which appropriate are pretty good. We're gonna see how those taste. They did have some decent options, and then the chicken sandwich. You got the mac and cheese and the uh, flatbread. So yeah, food was decent. Nothing crazy. Pierogies were actually the best thing. Chicken sandwich was really mid. Um, we're gonna do possess now. I'm intrigued on this. I've always wanted to ride one of these, especially. Does it have the holding brake thing? Oh my. Okay. We'll see how. What's the other one that has it actually? Uh, Valley Fair. Valley Fair. Okay. Sign looks really dope though. So yeah, all right, here we go. Wow, honestly, took me back to Volcano the Blast Coaster days, man. Golly, that was so good. It was very intense. Like that was my first time ever riding one of those. What did they even call like impulse coasters or something? Yeah, okay. impulse. Yeah. Pretty that was that. yeah like the hang time really good um i imagine with the holding brake it's even crazier but it does like you said it's like kind of jolty a little bit like not jolty but like it locks you in like when you go when you're holding there like that but really cool ride we're headed to steel force next so yeah Steel Force is the best ride in the park. Uh, that that was amazing. I don't even, like, it's what I wanted Magnum XL 200 to be. Like, Magnum has triangle hills, hits the trim, and it's just a mess. They hit the trim on this. It did lose a little momentum, which is a bummer, because without that trim, pure ejector. But definitely uh, my favorite ride in the park. That was like 118, credit 118. Great ride. I don't really know what else to say. I really like it, though. It's a great front yeah. ride. I, I I want to see how it is in back. He said it's not that good in the back, but we'll it's see. In the back. Great in the front. Like, <laughs> oh man, front that was awesome! Like it was just so it's perfect floater. Like I can't describe it any other way. It's just amazing floater. Um, we're gonna ride again, and I think we had Talon, Hydra, 
like Kitty Coast and like one other ride and then we're done. So this park is very easy to credit run. So yeah. <laughs> Still for some Boy. Problem. Yeah, he was right. That thing. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> the valleys are brutal in the back row. We hit that block, and when I tell you, it was like airtime, and it was like holding on for dear life because it feels like somebody like slammed you in a WWE match. It's crazy. It has to be like a second car and above to get that full airtime experience, but still a great ride. The Helix was very intense in the back, though. Where are we doing next? Uh, Talon. Talon. Yeah, Talon. So I'm very intrigued to see. This is an invert, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so Talon next. All right, y'all, so we rode uh, Hydra, and uh, we're in line for Talon now. This is the only ride that has a line. But Hydra was, it was solid. The JoJo roll was cool. It was okay. It was, a, like, the second half of the ride was really interesting, kind of just boring. It felt like the ride should have ended already, but nothing crazy, another credit. There's, like, two more that we got to ride after Talon, and then park completion. So, overall, easy day today. It's, like... 130, 145 or something, so we got a lot of time left. Talon was phenomenal. That is how I want my inverts. No block break. That ride is so good. The layout is great. No Smooth. Trims. Like you said, no trims, no nothing. Just straight airtime and just good inversion. Zero G roll is great. There's a pop of airtime with a helix. That that is one of the best layouts for invert. I love Banshee though. But Banshee I feel like just needs to be a little bit longer. Like that was a perfect perfect ride like that's 10 out of 10 for me um definitely my favorite invert now i think really yeah that, i really like that so we're gonna do wild mouse and then some kitty coaster and that's it after that we're deciding if we're gonna stay or not because toro apparently is down right now if we're not about to go to great adventure just to ride con jersey devil so yeah we i already told y'all hydra was good so yeah after that it was basically a spark completion but overall it's been a great day that was the one ride we had to wait for though. All right, so all credits acquired. Um, ready to get up out of this park, I ain't gonna lie. So I'm kind of bored with it. This guy's talking loud, hold on. Overall though, great day, got all the credits. That kitty coaster, man, that was weird waiting for that one. And it went around three times, so it was just even more weird. But at 122 now, uh, we're gonna ride Steel Force one more time. And then we're getting out of this park. We're gonna try to go to Great Adventure, get a couple rides on Toro Kyle. If Toro is open, we don't know if Toro is actually open or not. 
but I will talk to y'all soon. Yo, this train is crazy, yo. <laughs> For real.